welcome back to my channel. Excuse how I'm looking right now. I am 15, ready, reserved at the um, airport. I had to be here at 5 a.m., which means for me I had to get up at 3 uh, 30 a.m. And so it's been a very early morning for me. Um, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the Frontier um, training because I know that um, some of you guys have questions and are concerned and you know uh, really just you know I know you want to make it through so what I have to say about training is that um, it really wasn't that difficult I definitely feel like they do um, set you up for success and they do want you to make it through um, they pretty much you know just take notes is what I have to say they pretty and listen listen they, they pretty much give you what you need to know and you know a lot of times like they'll elaborate on certain things that they really want you to know so what i did was um even though you know they give you like powerpoints on your um, tablet you know to follow along with the the information i still took notes my hands was hurting like crazy but i still took notes and the reason why I took notes because when you write down um, things, you retain information a little bit better. So definitely um, make sure that you are um, taking notes and highlighting. And then also, like when you're, you know, on the line and you are getting trips and you forget something, you can go back to your notes. Sometimes, you know, or when I was, you know, first um, after my IOE, I was still a little nervous and stuff. I carry my, my notebooks with me and, you know, I had a lot of things labeled as far as topics and stuff as to, um, you know, subjects that I could go back to. So definitely take notes. Um, don't get caught up in all the drama because, you know, people, you know, go there and say they want that, but, you know, they, they get distracted, so don't get distracted. And my apology for the noise in the background. Um, again, I'm sitting outside um, at the outside the crew room because I just came out here to shoot this video. But um, also, in the beginning, you are given a pretest before you come, and that pretest is at home, at home, at home. So if you fail a pretest at home, I don't know something ain't right. You might as well just not go. I mean. I'm not trying to discourage anyone, but I'm just saying, if you fail a pretest at home, something's not right. Period. That's all I gotta say. But um, the pretest does consist of, you know, just the the stuff that they told you it would, the um, packet that they send you when you initially um, are given like your training date and all that. They tell you that they're gonna send you a packet two weeks before you go to training, and you do get it two weeks before your your training. So don't get caught up in oh i haven't you know um got my packet yet when is it going to come when is it going to come it's going to come trust me they want you to have it it's going to come but do not fail that that pretest if you do i'm just saying it's a shame sorry you just gotta keep it real um also in training um i know some of you are concerned about if you have to know how to swim you should know how to swim anyway just because if uh, there was an evacuation in the water I mean, yeah, you have your life vest on, but you, you, you know, you have to save other people. So, you know, you want to be able to be able to maneuver without being hysterical yourself. Um, we don't actually get into like a pool or anything like that, um, but we do have um, we do get into like the raft and you know and um, learn how to put it together and, and things like that. So. Um, all I'm saying is that um, you can do it. Um, don't spend your time hanging out. Like, don't, don't get caught up in the crowd. Just, you know, study. Um, for me, I did not study with people because people be giving out wrong information and think they know. No. Mm -mm. I'm going back to my notes, and if I don't understand something, then I'll ask someone. I had, we did have roommates, and I, we did not pick our roommates, and I had the coolest roommate ever. I still love her. But, um, Anyway, what we would do is we would sit in our room in silent mode and we would study by ourselves and then we would study together. Sorry for the people on the background. But anyways, yeah, I would study by myself 
and then I would study with them. And plus, like when you study with people, like they start talking about other stuff, or they're not studying what exactly what you want to study, and you know, just take time to yourself and study for yourself. Um, like as far as packing and stuff, you know, I went out to the thrift store. They ain't loud. I went to the thrift store and um, I got some things, and then um, you know, to to you know for business casual and and a dress attire and things like that but honestly you really don't need to pack a whole lot of stuff rotate that stuff because at the end of the day like your bag is going to be full and then you get your uniform and then you need extra space when you're coming back home so don't overpack you're not trying to impress nobody like and nobody's looking at your outfit so just get a couple outfits or you know for each um category of, of dress you know attire you need and rotate it rotate for real rotate do not waste a lot of money on um, before to, to for stuff to go beforehand and then as far as my luggage like i couldn't afford the travel pro stuff right off the back so i went to a luggage store and got a three piece for like a hundred dollars and it still lasted me a few months later so again you guys can do this you know and um don't let nobody stop you and you know just if you gotta make sacrifices you gotta make sacrifices but you know make sure that you are dedicated to to this you know it can be a little challenging once you're off like as far as you know the money situation but the end result is where it's at you know so you know like i said do it don't let nobody stop you and i hope that this information helps um is there anything else um can't think of anything else um, off the top of my head. Oh, the food. Um, yeah, I mean, there's times that I ordered um, from Walmart, Walmart deliveries and, you know, stack the refrigerator because um, as far as the food, it's free, but it is a little heavy. You know, you do eat a lot of potatoes and, um, you know, sometimes lunch is heavy. I used to think that when I was eating lunch, it was actually dinner. I would forget it was so heavy and I would still be full. But they do feed you and it is free so you can't complain. But so if you have any complaints, then of course you can order your own stuff. Um, after we finished training, we actually went on our IOE. We did get paid like the first, the next paycheck coming up for all the other flight attendants. So it was, uh, for instance, I, dro I graduated July 14th, 2022. And um, the next payday was my IOE wasn't until like the 24th and I ended up getting, we, we get paid on the 5th and the 20th. And so I ended up getting a check on the 5th. So, um, yeah, I mean, that, that's, you know, what's my experience. Again, I don't think that it was that difficult. Um, if you study and if you pay attention and if you take notes, yes, again, you can follow the PowerPoint but your notes are going to be the go-to, seriously. Um, I wrote down everything, even stuff that, you know, they, I didn't, that maybe wasn't important, but with me writing down everything, it just allowed me to highlight what was important. And then if I needed to like brief myself or, or um, maybe if I missed something, it was in my notes. I still have, again, everything in my notes. Anyways, guys, I hope this helps. Um, congratulations. Welcome to the Frontier family. Sorry, guys, I wanted to add an edit um, to the video really quick and just also let you know that there are about two or three uh, tests or quizzes um, a week. Don't let that scare you. Again, as long as you have notes and stuff, you should be fine. As long as you took notes and you listened. There's times that I didn't even um, study because I had took great notes and the information was just embedded in my head. So again, don't let that discourage you. Um, it's really, again, not that difficult. Um, also, um, the drills, uh, they can be a little intimidating in the beginning when they give them to you, but as long as you um, practice them, then you will be fine. It looks like and feels like a lot, but I promise once you go over it a few times, you're gonna be like, oh, okay, I got it. It's really not hard. Um, it just seems intimidating. Make sure that when you, are when you are taking your tests and your quizzes, that you are only focusing on what's coming up. That's how, well, that's how I got by. I didn't, they give you a schedule with all your tests and quiz and what you're gonna have. 
I was like, let me, I'm, I, I'm gonna study what's going on right now, and I'm gonna focus on what's going on right now, and that's how I got, got by, not overloading my brain with all this stuff that I knew I had to 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 know. Um, again, just just go, just focus on what's what's coming up, and let everything else come as it comes. Oh yeah, and I wanted to talk to you guys about uniforms when you order your uniforms and the sizes. Um, so. I wear in pants a size 11, and so, um, like a 10, 11. So if they have a 10, I'll get a 10, but 11 usually fits me as well. So um, basically, when I ordered my pants, I got a 10, and they fit perfect. Um, normally, like if I get a dress, which is weird, like I'll order like a large, like just some regular clothes. Um, I probably could fit a medium, but I'm a little hippie and uh, my upper, you know, body part is a little um, slender, but I usually, like, largest fit me, they do. Um, medium fit me kind of, kind of tight, but I can still get away with it. But um, if I order a dress in a number, normally, like I said, I would get like a eight or a 10 or something like that. When I order this dress that I have on right now, I got a four. And so I'm actually going to insert a photo that I just went into the bathroom and took for the purpose of this video um, and post it for you guys so you guys can kind of see like how I'm, I'm, I'm shaped and, um, and how the, the four fits on me. Now I also ordered a skirt, but I ordered the skirt when I got um, out of training. I was a little skeptical, I didn't know what size to order being that my pants were a 10 and my dress was a four. Um, so with the skirt, I ordered a six. The skirt, like, I don't know, like, at first I was like, it fit perfect, but then sometimes I feel like it fit big, because it be twisting around and stuff around me. But then I'm like, if, should I have just ordered a four? But I'm worried that if I would have ordered a four, like, kind of around my hips, it already is a little bit tight, just a little bit. So I don't know if I could have got away with a four. But... Anyways, that's just, you know, my um, take on the uniforms. As far as the tops, um, I probably should could have got away with a medium, but I ordered a large. I mean, no, I could have probably got away with a small, but I ordered a medium. The mediums are not, like, huge on me at all, at all. They fit, like, perfect, but I could have probably got away with a small, that's what I'm saying. But um, for me, um, and looking at my picture, I'm about 5'3", and I weight like 157, 156, something like that. So, um, yeah, hope that helps. Um, in you know, I hope that helps. Um, this material is not that giving up here, but it is like giving at the bottom, like there's a weird little wiggle room at the bottom, but. Um, the pants that they have, they have straight leg and skinny and skinny slim fit, I think. And I order regular and I like the way they fit. But yeah, hope that helped. Again, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.